God is connected to Satan, devil, supposedly two opposite spirits, yet connected. Light and dark, good and evil and God and devil. Everything in this cosmos works based on opposites. However, the Father's world is not based on opposites. Each side always brings a similar like state, both being compatible. Love doesn't produce hate, it produces joy, thus the second fruit of the Spirit. Love equals joy. When one is joyful it leads to peace, peace of mind, peace in spirit, over all peace and tranquility. When one is in peace from the act of love and joy, they then become long-suffering. They are patient. They are merciful and forgiving. Thus, leading to the next connector fruits, peace and patience. Love equals joy equals peace equals patience. When one is forgiving, merciful, patient, and long-suffering, it leads into kindness. They are more open to be kind, and charitable, and easily entreated. A spirit of kindness is revealed when one is hospitable. They serve one another, they do things to reassure and give hope. Thus, it leads to the next fruit of a spirit of goodness. Love equals joy equals peace equals patience equals kindness equals goodness. Goodness leads to faith which is our mutual trust in the Father and the Mother to provide all things we need or lack. It is our divine family connection that guides and leads us from within. Faith is the key. When we are fully guarded and protected both in the flesh and in spirit of mind, it then brings us into a mind of gentleness. This mindset leads to a spirit of an overall carefree spirit like a lamp. Gentleness is a peaceful spirit. It is calming, caring, but most of all it does not have a care in the world. It is as a child being fully protected and guided, nourished and fed, bringing no reason to be afraid or doubt, or worry. And all this leads into a spirit creating fulfillment, which guides one to establish the attribute of all fruits. Love equals joy equals peace equals patience equals kindness equals goodness equals faith equals gentleness. When one is gentle they reveal a spirit of meekness. They are free of ego, haughtiness and jealousy. They have nothing to prove and they are not resentful or filled with pride. Thus, leading to temperance. When a person is temperate they are not led into temptation to do wrong. They have self-restraint. They do the will of the father and mother and can break free from death and finally enter life eternal. Love equals joy equals peace, patience equals kindness equals goodness equals faith equals gentleness equals temperance, life eternal. The fruits of the spirit are all self-contained, they never lead to anything of darkness, never needing to follow love, rage, jealousy or any other disorder. However, when we enter the other side, the side that Lucifer has given us, we see something very interesting. The first thing Lucifer gave us was laws and statutes. He did not give us the spirit of love, but the spirit of law. And what is the connector to law? It is sin. Even the Bible reveals law is what identifies sin. Without law, sin cannot be imputed.